sweat the technique. Don't sweat the technique. Hey guys. What's up, what's up? This is Sammy Davis, LPN. Uh, my name is Richard Ashen. I'm an LPN. All right, Richard, so uh, tell us your experience at Curtis High School Nursing Program. Well, I uh, went to Curtis High School, Staten Island, New York, same program as this guy. Um, you know, started from the beginning, freshman, sophomore year, just did regular school. Like, they introduced um, nursing classes in our sophomore year. It was like one class. And then after that, you applied for the program. You took a test, ATI. I think some of you, you know, should be familiar with the ATI. Yeah. You take the ATI, you do, if you do okay on it, and you have good grades, you get in the program. And then junior year, me and him got in the program. And first week, you know, they just straight up blew us, you know, gave us the whole workload. We had an outline due that Friday, and class was on Monday. And, uh, you know, the next week we had clinicals too and everything. Eventually, we got to the hospital setting where we started, you know, looking at patients and everything, looking at certain procedures, you know, going to actual surgery, seeing open heart surgeries and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And that basically branched out into um, our senior year too. So like senior year, um, oh, sorry, um, over the summer too, like we yeah. basically we didn't have a summer, like we had still had to go to the hospital, we still had some clinical to do. And that basically branched out from junior to senior year. And then senior year, we just like, once we came back from break, from summer vacation, we only had like probably like maybe a month. Um, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, probably like, yeah, it was about a month. month. We went straight into nursing. Like, you know, we had um, medical flashcards that we had to go, you know, make for our class and everything. And then the next week, half the class was split up. Half the class went to clinical. The other half was in class. Yeah. And, you know, we just kept it going from there. I think the classes that we did in our senior year were... Um, it was med peds, surge. It was peds, med surge, maternity, and um, pharmacology. 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 And then our junior year was when we had fundamentals, anatomy and physiology, and nutrition. And nutrition yeah. So, oh, and along with um, life cycle, which is basically like yeah. lifespan or developmental assessment. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was basically that was basically you know our school. Mm-hmm. And what a lot of people don't know, you know, our clinicals at Curtis High School it was probably like the coolest thing ever. I think that's the coolest thing you can do in a nursing program. I know a lot of like adult programs don't really do that much of um, clinicals, but. Definitely going to clinical gives you the best experience. Yeah, I think I think um, it was just the fact that like when you were learning about a topic, exactly. and then like if you, you didn't, could, really, you could go to the hospital, yeah, actually like, do it, see it, that kind of thing. Like if you were learning about the circulatory system, and then you went to the um, cardiovascular unit exactly. or the or the uh, cardiac cath, mm-hmm. you know, where they're doing surgeries, you know, they're giving people stents, you know, so they can open up the blood vessels and everything in their hearts. Exactly. It was like, oh, that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. So. And, and that was definitely the coolest thing about our program. Our instructors, you, j- just the structure of the programs was, was really well because our teacher would be doing a topic and then she specifically try to get the, a majority of the students on that floor, following the nurses around, following the doctors, um, helping out procedures, that kind of thing. That was really what helped when you try to you're doing a topic and you can actually see what's going on. Yeah, so. it definitely helped a lot. And then there were um, there was a lot of times where we had to do like assessment. We had to do actual assessments on ourselves. I mean, not on ourselves, but like ourselves. We had to actually had to do assessments on other patients. Yeah. You know, like our instructor would be like, "Okay, here's Mr. So and So." Um, see what it, see if you can diagnose him. See if you can you know find out any treatments, whatever. See what other medications on everything. Like we actually had to do the work. So oh we, yeah, what was that thing that she let us do? Like after each um after each day, what did we have to? We had to present. I know when we had to present. Yeah, our, yeah. Um, what was it called? Patient. It was like uh, I forgot what it was called. Something. Um, Assessment or some something assessment. I what it's called. I don't know. But basically, our instructors at the clinicals would say, um, "You need to obviously go in a notepad, that kind of thing, and whatever patient you have, you have to document the history, the signs and symptoms, why they're there, 
the disease, whatever, right on um, the medications, what medications are they using, define all of it, what, what the medication does. That definitely opened our eyes, you know, when you're trying to um, review a patient or a doctor, for example, you need to know everything about that patient, what's going on, what's the progression whatever, um, of the treatment. And that really helped after each clinical. We would all talk as a group. Yeah, it would just, it would make sense. Um, I don't know, I really, I just, I'm mad I forgot what that was, that was. Mm-hmm. but I don't know. I, I really forgot what it was called, anyway. But what, what, are you, what were your experiences uh, with nurses in clinicals? You know? um, nurses really get, really have a lot of work to do. I mean, I understand doctors and everything, that but really true. it's like when it comes down to like nitty gritty stuff, that is where true. you know, where it's an emergency or anything, or it's just, you know, you basically taking care of the patient, it's all the nurse. Mm-hmm. The nurse does everything from, you know, feeding the patient, giving the patient medications, you know, turning the patient over every now and then, so, you know, to promote circulation, mm-hmm. talking to the patient themselves. I mean, nurses, they basically do it all. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that was one thing, like, I didn't really realize until after. When, you, for example, any students out there who are shadowing nurses, you know, in their program, or maybe like adult programs or whatever, you you definitely want to understand that um, the nurses have a lot of work to do. You know, they're they're juggling information, trying to do this, they have to call this person, blah blah. blah. They have to do all the, those kind of things. So having them having a student next to them, also willing to learn all that kind of thing, you almost want to be like the the back singer. The I don't know what you call it, the, the backup singers. But you always you also want to be upfront. You know, you want to learn also. What it is the nurse is doing behind hey, the scenes. Exactly behind the scenes. Behind the exactly. Scenes. You wanna. What are you doing? Oh, hey, hey, can I help you out with this kind of thing? So it was definitely hard following a lot of nurses, but a lot of nurses want to teach you because, you know, LPN LPN school or nursing school is is hard. So anything helps. It is at the it end of each me. day. Whatever. Like, and we we went to Staten Island University Hospital, and yeah. there's actually a lot of like you know Curtis. There was like a good amount of Curtis High School graduates who graduated from our program, exactly. and they were there, and they were like, oh, that's cool, you know. You know, back in the day, you know, when we were at this, when we were here, you know, doing clinicals and everything, you know, we still got to do the same exact position where you were, shadowing nurses, exactly. helping them, you know, meds and everything, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it actually, you know, felt a little more comfortable and it was like, you know, more believable. Yeah. And, it, know, and it's, it's, it's so cool just, you know, come from the program, graduate from the program because we're thankful, you know, we're happy, you know, that, you know, we came from such a prestigious program. That's what our, um, our instructor... Our director, the director, always said, you know, it's a prestigious program, and it was so cool. And um, I mean, my experiences, my experience with nurses, I followed usually in the hospital a lot of black nurses. That is good, okay. Of course, I I, I followed all kinds of nurses, but it was definitely, you know, those nurses helped me out. They were like, you know, it's good. You know, you're coming up, you guys, you, you know, young black male, you know, nurses. That's it's great. You know, any male nurses out there, keep on going. Um, it's it's a great feeling to finish to pass to continue that kind of thing yeah, it's great just, just don't 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 feel like because there's definitely been a lot of people in our program that were like you know i can't do this yeah. blah 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 so much work i have other things that i have to do mm-hmm. you know i don't know if i can spend all this time on this and then they come out of nowhere they go take the test and then they pass and it's there's, like wow exactly there's always like, going to be setbacks anybody's watching this video you know you put guys are probably nervous that kind of thing definitely understand you know it's it's gonna take a lot of time, but you know you just gotta be confident. So now we gotta we gotta show them the books that we use in the program. Oh yeah, that's true. Sure. All right, so um, when we were in the program, right, we had a lot of textbooks. This is probably this is the one we got our senior year. Like this is like right here, uh, Pearson book. This, this, we just called it Pearson Blue yeah, Book. Pearson. Like yeah. you know review for LPN that kind of thing. I'm telling yeah. you, our instructor always said that Pearson. Pearson makes the test, I believe, right? Yeah, Pearson, 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 yeah, exactly. Pearson View is the Pearson, company that makes that administrates the um the exactly. That's test. where you sign up to, you know, look at like your scores or whatever results, that kind of thing. They make so any book about Pure Pearson, you know, for nursing or whatever for the NCLEX that you you're, you're trying to take, that those are those books are great. These books are great. This one though, it had a little too much information. It really went into too much. It detail. was. The thing was, it yeah. uh, for this book, it gave it not only like it wasn't just questions. Like it gave you every like almost every basic thing that you have to know as a nurse, from drug administration to regular 
you know, like to um, like exactly. all the body systems, mm -hmm. all like you know um, nutrition and everything. Like it's everything is just compact into this book. Exactly. And then and then they have like for like diseases, right? They'll give you the for let's say you want to talk about like um, heart diseases, so like uh, hypertension or whatever and stuff like that. They would give you a a brief over well not brief but they'll give you an overview of like the the cardiovascular system. And then after that, they would give you, you know, specific diseases to, to the cardiovascular system, like heart, mm -hmm. like heart disease or, you know, um, angina yeah, exactly. or, you know, stuff like that. So it's like if you're, if you're getting into the program, you're almost like halfway done with the program. This is probably a book to get really early because it goes into so much detail. Like a lot of people are ready to take the exam. They don't have enough time to go through this whole book. And just an example of this book. It, it has a lot of detail. So um, we have another book. And uh, this one this one came with a program that we did. Like, yeah, after, last... after our program, we uh, we did uh, four days. Four days, Yeah, right? four days. Yeah, we had to pay like um, $200, I think it's for the program. But it, it was from the school and all that kind of thing. And it's on the book. So the program was uh, Ready to Pass. I don't know. Some of you might know about this program, Ready to Pass. Ready to pass. This was the yeah. book. This was the book. Um, like, you know, the year two of 2012 that we actually took the test. Like, that was the book that they gave us that year for it. Yeah. And this is not just for LPNs, actually. They told us that you RNs, RNs yeah. can also use this as well. Exactly. But then, since we're in the LPN program, there was also this book that I decided to get with it, too. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's the same exact book from the same exact company, but for LPNs. Exactly. So, but this book, this book, guys, you have to, you have to do the program to get the book. If any of you guys, you know, have a lot of money that you're willing to use, they go through basically your whole LPN course in four days. So basically. four, so basically four years, four years of nursing. Well, three years. Well, yeah, sort of. three, three. We're gonna say three years of nursing. Everything that you've learned about nursing, meds, procedures, all that, mm -hmm. crammed like all the crammed all into just four days. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Exactly. So. That was really good.